Hi, um, my name is Abby and I've got um, two daughters at the school who both joined in nursery. Um, one is currently age nine and in year four and the other is six and she's in year one. Um, we, the, we, they're both at the same school but they're very different children. One's very independent and the other is very very much mummy's girl, home bird. We never thought that we'd get her into school. Um, and I never thought that the day would come where um, we were. And she's absolutely loving it. When clo school closed for lockdown, she actually cried because she wanted to be in school. Um, we looked at several schools in the area, but as soon as we walked in the school, we knew that that was going to be the school for our children. It immediately felt warm, um, it was friendly, and it, it was environment, uh, and it was an inviting environment which would enable them to learn and grow. Um, when we came to look around um, the school, pupils actually gave us a tour. And they spoke with such confidence and enthusiasm at such a young age. So they were year six. Um, they they too sold the school to us, you know, in the hope that by the time that our kids reached that age, to think that they would be doing something like that in the same manner that the children were was really, really yeah, inspiring for us and what you know we hoped would we would be able to achieve for the girls. Um, we also looked that it was a through school, so they could both really start their first day in in the school, in nursery, and we'd hope that they'd continue all the way through the, um, to the sixth form. So there was only one first day at school. The school always talks about having an open door for um, pupils and parents, and really, you know, it, that is so true. If there's ever, if we have any problems or questions, emails are answered promptly, everyone's approachable, um, we're able to come in and to see the teachers the same day. You know, if I send an email at eight o'clock in the morning, I can come and see them before registration. Um, any problems are ironed out really fast um, and, and really professionally. Another thing that we love is how um, all the pupils within the prep know each other, um, as do the staff, even down to the lady in the in the uniform shop. She knows them all. Um, when you join the school, you really do feel like your children and yourselves, you, you're joining a big a part of a big family. It's just really welcoming. Um, I've had so many friends at different schools and as the girls have been growing up saying, as the girls have been going into the next year, well, how's she doing? Yeah, yeah, really well. How's she settling in in reception? Great. Well, wait till she gets till year one because that's when the work really starts and then you'll see a massive difference. So, and the same with year two to three, it's a big jump, you know, I hope she's ready for it. We've never had, we've never noticed or, or, or had any struggles with any of these transitions. Um, and I'm sure that that's just down to the school's preparation, both behind the scenes and for how they prefer the prepare the children. They've just kind of sailed through. It's just been natural progression for them. Even then um, going down into the transition of lockdown again, and um, that just seemed sm smooth and seamless. The children were informed on the right level um, and as parents, we were left well informed as well. I think going into it, it took us a week or so for us to find our routine and probably most would say that it was different for everyone, teachers, pupils and parents. I never expected to be a teacher and I never will be, but <laughs> we're, we're managing. Um, but now we've got our routine, we have a clear st structure to the day and we know what to expect and when. We have found the work set to be really good, really good quality and the way um, to access the work and to send it in is really user friendly. Um, for myself and my nine year old daughter is able to do it all herself. Um, during lockdown, we really don't feel that their education has suffered at all. Um, the school have made, made sure of this. The, the learning has continued. They've covered all aspects of learning, even down to um, allocating specific reading level books online. 
Um, daily live registrations have made sure as well that we've all still felt part of the school community and the children have kept in touch with all the class and all the year groups. Registration in this house for both girls is always full of smiles and giggles and they both really look forward to anything that's provided in a live provision. The eldest, who's nine in year four, she works independently for most of the day. So she'll go up to her bedroom where she's got her laptop set up and she'll come down for a lunch. And it, we might get to see her for a couple of questions, but more or less she's happy um, to just work on her own. And she likes it like that. She won't have any noise. Otherwise, there's no work to be done. She can't be disturbed. She struggled a couple of times, obviously, as I'm sure they all have. We've tried to help her, but our way of teaching just wasn't able to get through to her. Um, we've emailed the teacher and immediately, you know, within 10, 15 minutes, they've been back to us and they've offered some help. And we've been able to jump on one to one on teams and they've been able to talk through it. So we haven't even necessarily there are daily live clinics for maths and English. But if she's been working in the morning on a subject when the clinic wasn't till the afternoon, the teachers have happily helped her um, so that she can get on and complete that task. We've had consistent feedback on the work, which is really encouraging and the kids both thrive on this and the feedback as well. One thing that I like, it's always aimed at the children. So it's always an open um, conversation to be had, asking them how they found the task and they enjoy replying um, and speaking to the, the teachers that way as well. Um, go continuing with what we've received live, we've had assemblies. My daughter's continued her piano lessons. We've had quizzes, live story times, guided relax, uh, guided reading session, even relaxation sessions, which all of us love. And um, just above and above beyond the academic work that's also set for them. I found this um, the highlight of our uh, an evidence of how far the school have gone, though, really, was for my daughter's birthday, which was in lockdown in June and in May. Sorry. And there were a couple of other class um, friends who happened to have a birthday on the same weekend. Um, it's a busy month in May in her class, but her teachers organised a virtual party for the class. Every one of the class was really excited for this and they got involved. Each one of them put decorations up, they made decorations, they made cake. And it was actually quite emotional to watch this on Teams. There were party games, there was dancing, there were quizzes. It gave them something to look forward to all week. And it was a real morale boost for them all, actually. And if you were to ask Imogen, she's actually just on a lesson at the moment. But the party is her favourite highlight of lockdown so far. And it was just really amazing the amount of effort that the teachers had gone to for the birthdays. So hopefully that's given you some insight into life at this lovely school. Um, we're really happy here, but above all, the girls are happy, they're thriving and they're learning, and we really cannot recommend it enough to you. Thank you.